Okay, so now powering out the rest. A lot of this stuff has no no real detail and all I'm worried about is it matching around so I can kind of get it to a circle keep in mind if I have these big polygons however I'm not going to be able to fit a whole lot of texture detail like all the details going to be in this area but if I need to put a crack and crevice in this area I'm going to have to divide it up a lot now that's fine uh, because you know I do have the ability to divide up to a bajillion polys if I wanted to and still maintain right here this is this is probably a bad idea right here that's a much better idea okay so now I have this natural edge loop that's occurring in this area and if I need to push back on the mesh I can very easy now this leads to problematic closing um, and still maintaining so what happens here well it's important to know that it flattens out in this area and I don't need that much detail so here I'm just going to start thinking about how I'm going to put another edge loop in here and then close it up Okay, and to close it up, I'd start looking at things that add up to the other side, like this one, for example. This one to 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 this one and back to this one. Okay, so there's a stream of quads. Uh, there's it looks like to me there is one here just hanging out doing absolutely nothing. Uh, to kind of see that oh okay it's not attached to anything so that's that's important again uh, let's start with this side okay and let's move on to the final Okay, again, I'm not really worried about too much of this other stuff. It's uh it's gonna be big, bold, and the ability to just have a closed up mesh. But I am kinda concerned about having this wrap around. So I'm gonna start sketching out an idea and then trying to follow it, but not to the point where it's it's going to get insane I'm going to try getting this all back to about right here okay and sometimes it helps just to sketch those lines out um, it's not like you're going to use them it's just there and 
you have the ability to kind of follow a, a nice progression around an object. Keep in mind this area is round, so we must maintain that. If we were just to connect polys haphazardly, we would end up with a square in the area. Oh, I see something. See it right there? So, in this area, there seems to be an extra little guy hanging out. Again, be careful when you delete. If you delete, make sure you check the other side of the mesh immediately after fixing it. Okay, good, good. Okay, this area right here, this is where the base of the skull meets the spine. So this is how you handle something like this. So I put a natural hole in there, but I should, I think I did it in such a way that I can just go like that and I can always extrude that up if I need to. Okay, so it's going all the way around. Okay. I can also eliminate it if I need to later on. All right, so now I've reached um, the hell stage, okay? And this is what happens. You have this meeting this. This big block meeting a small block. And in all cases, usually what happens is, especially with a human uh, character, this is where the neck is. So you wouldn't have to worry about this area because it would it would be attached to the neck. Now, being the skull, you know that could lay on a table. Um, I would say, yeah, this is going to be a little bit fun to get those matched up. So now you're going to see every dirty trick in the book as far as polygon reductions and getting it all to quads and then trying to maintain a nice even flow of polygons. So this is what I have so far. And what I'm doing here is trying to close off the worst in hopes for the best. Okay, like that. That doesn't look half bad. Now I'm going to say maybe in this area we start worrying about maybe a polygon reduction trick in this area. I'll be covering that in the next video.